Wow, man, oh man, oh man, what a crazy ending to Monday Night Raw, a crazy ending to the Raw Women's Championship match. We will get into it, we will get into it, but we have to talk about Raw. You know, for this being the go-home show Monday Night Raw, you know, this just this just didn't feel like a go-home show before their big pay-per-view, their, their, their first pay-per-view of the year, the Royal Rumble, in my opinion. Even though we had Goldberg, we've had McIntyre come back, we've had Edge, you know, Orton, Bliss, it still just didn't feel like a go-home show a Monday Night Raw. Even Ric Flair was on the show. Anyways, man, Drew McIntyre, man, he made his return, man. Fine. Telling, you know, telling the viewers, man, that he is free of COVID-19. Awesome. You know, talking about he was lucky with no symptoms. Basically saying he's ready to go for the Rumble. He's ready to face Goldberg. And, um, yeah. Um, yeah, Miz and Morrison come out. They taunt Drew over their match and, you know, talk about how, you know, he and Goldberg could end up injured before the match and, you know, stuff like that. And, you know, Miz was talking about how he's going to cash in his money to bank briefcase and become the new WWE champion. And Goldberg comes out, you know, has a confrontation with Drew, stares at him, tells him he's next. And you have Miz and Morrison on the, on the, um, apron mocking mocking Goldberg basically and yeah and Miz gets hit with a spear and then Drew gets Morrison with Claymore and then Drew and Goldberg have a final stare down the ring as their match happens this Sunday night January 31st at the Royal Rumble also we get the first match of the night Charlotte Flair versus Shayna Baszler um, man, I thought this matchup and is mad in my personal opinion. Obviously, Charlotte winning by DQ, and then you get this whole brawl that's happening with the women. And so, when you come back from commercial break, we get Charlotte Flair, Mandy Rose, and Dana Brooke versus Lacey Evans, Nia Jax, and Shannon Baszler. Um, something went down with this match, actually. I, I, a little, I guess, something went down towards the end. I mean, towards the finish, Shayna Baszler, awkward finish, you know, botch or something like that. I don't know. But in the end, um, Charlotte, Dana, and Mandy won by count out. And then the three heels were like, nah, uh, 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 like, you know, demanding Adam Pierce for a rematch. And then the other three ladies, Charlotte, Mandy, and Dana was like, we're down. And then in the end, Nia, Shayna, and Lacey win. Um, Nia, you know, pinning Dana Brooke. So, you know, didn't really care for the match, to be perfectly honest with you. We get a promo from um, Mustafa, not Mustafa, Mustafa Ali. I don't want retribution coming up in my house attacking me. Well, then again, with how bad the stable is, they ain't going to do, <laughs> they ain't gonna do shit. But um, in all serious no, um, man, you know, Mustafa Ali cutting these amazing promos, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm glad that they're showing him on Raw because he's really been cutting some great promos right now. Um, but anyways, man, we get Slapjack versus Xavier Woods. Uh, I didn't really care for this, but it, it was for what it was. You know, them attacking, Retribution attacking Xavier Woods after the match. And, um, yeah, Mustafa Ali, uh, said he was going to enter the Rumble match and he was going to win. And he was even telling himself that he was going to be a king. Um, we get a in-ring segment. Oh, by the way, I think they should do, uh, I think they should do Kofi versus, uh, Kofi versus Ali at Mania, in my opinion. Also, we get an in-ring segment with MVP, the Hurt Business, you know, um, just talking about how good they've been. Also, you know, talking about the Gauntlet match they're going to have with Matt Riddle later on that night. Um, R-Truth, who is, we all know, funny as hell. R-Truth, the GOAT, R-Truth, the 24-7-7-11, um, I-95, 24-7 champion comes out, talk about how it was his birthday, and they, he thought the herb business was throwing him a birthday party. Um, it's just, Archie's crazy, man. Archie's a national treasure, bro. And, yeah, man, like, it's, yeah, it is what it is, man. Um, then you get Drew Gallant, Tucker. Yeah, I know Tucker. Humberto Carlito, Kiritazaga coming out trying to go after the 24-7 title. And then, yeah, and then um, while the Hurt Business are fighting the Jobber Squad, um, Matt Riddle comes in the ring, hits a knee strike to MVP, and, you know, to hype up their um, match. 
Also, we get our truth backstage with AJ. AJ basically talking about how you know he can give our truth the spot in the Rumble match if he beats him, and it set up our truth versus AJ later on the night. Um, we get Sheamus versus Morrison. This was actually, it was, I thought it was pretty good for what it was. I thought it was okay for what it was. But, you know, the Miz after the match, after Sheamus won the match, Miz was talking about how, you know, he needs to prepare for the Rumble. He needs to fight them in a the handicap match right now. And Sheamus accepted. And then <laughs> Sheamus wins. And then the two-on-one handicap matches, he loses. But then again, Miz and Morrison, you know, he, they got to get wins too. They can't just keep losing all the time. You know what I'm saying? Um... And it was for what it was, you know. Like I said, man, little. I guess you, if you look at this raw tonight, you can be like, yeah, there's some filler going on at this show. Lacey Evans, who is my girl, Lacey Evans, was another girl I like. Um, Lacey Evans backstage with the Hall of Famer, the 16-time World Champion, Ric Flair, one of the greatest of all time. And yeah, man, him and he was showing some, ev you know, Lacey some moves, man. And Charlotte comes in the ring. She's talking, talking about how. You know, her dad, you know, like she doesn't like what his dad is doing and everything and talking about how, you know, she disagrees and talks about some of the bad things he's done, like spending his money on everyone but his family and basically saying how she was not the bad guy. And then Lacey comes in and attacks her and they're both basically going in the hallway, hallway um, as the as we go back to commercial. Going back, AJ versus R Truth. We get an AJ versus R Truth. This was for what it was. AJ winning, predictable. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty much was it. And then we get the return of Edge. We get the return of Edge. Last time we saw Edge um, was the greatest royal. I mean, the greatest wrestling match ever back at Backlash uh, this past June. Edge talking about you know how 2020 was and. Edge cutting the best promo of the night, man. Edge, a master cutting promos. And yeah, man, he basically talking about he's going to enter the Royal Rumble match show. Cool on Edge. And let me give a little little discussion here. So WWE Backstage is coming back this Saturday. And they are going to announce on the show that the number 30 entrance in the respective Royal Rumble matches. I thought that was stupid as hell. The one thing about the Royal Rumble match that we all love is that it's unpredictable. You don't know who's going to show up. You don't know who's going to be there. It could be a person coming from injury, a person we haven't seen, you know, before, someone who's making their debut, etc. And we all love how they, you know, hype up the number 30 spot. You know, we've seen it like back at Royal Rumble when Cena came back, you know, still one of the best returns in Royal Rumble history because that no one knew Cena was coming back. I sure as hell didn't. Think Cena was going to come back because I still think he was at home recovering from his injury. So it's stupid, and I don't know why they just don't not announce that. Like why, why, stupid. Anyway, it's like right back. Stupid. Anyways, anyways, back to uh, oh shit. Back at the, uh, back at the real point at hand here, Jesus. Um, we get the main event: Alexa Bliss versus. Um, um, Asuka for the Raw Women's Championship. It was boss for what it was, you know. But the ending is what a lot of people are going to obviously be talking about. Randy Orton comes back. He makes his return in the ring without his mask on. And he RKs O's Alexa Bliss. Randall Keith Orton at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. RKO. Boom, boom, boom. You know the rest, ladies and gentlemen. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I think how, I think that was the best way to do it. I don't think it's time for Alexa to win the title just yet. Um, I, you might as well just keep it on Asuka. I could actually see Asuka going into Mania with the ch losing the championship after WrestleMania. But, um, you know, Alexa, you know, perfect. So I didn't have no problem with that. Um, like I said, man, that, that was amazing. And, um, yeah, man, tell me what were your thoughts on Monday Night Raw. And, um, yeah.